this video today is to just go through how students can log on to their SEPTA Learn. So the first step is going onto the St. Mary's webpage. From there, we go to our community, down to parents, students and staff. Then click on students. Then there's the SEPTA Student Learn. When they get there, they need to enter their username and password. So their username is going to be the first part of their email. But no at, no at St. Mary's, no at CIWA, just the first part, followed by their normal CIWA password. Now, students have done a lot of online learning at St. Mary's, so they should know what their password is to log on to our computers. If not, please contact the school. Once logged in, we can look at this SectorLearn portal. So for our e-learning, for students learning at home, what we recommend is where to get that information is via courses. So when they click on courses, they have all their subjects here on the sidebar. So for instance, if we clicked on English, we can click on today, and we can see the lesson outline that the teacher has prepared. This would be the same for French if we go to today. If you feel you've missed some lessons or you need to go back, there is this possibility to go through the weeks and the terms and you can see what has been set and you could possibly go back here and go to the, do those lessons. Another outlet that teachers may use Within courses is with um, mathematics, it will may refer to go to use math pathways. So most lessons will be done through maths pathways with maths, but there may still be some assignments. So always check your sec to learn first. Another place that might be useful for students is the forums. This is a discussion place where work can be set and check-ins can happen with particular teachers. There's other um, uses of SECTA as well, including notifications of anything that is happening at the school and also possible um, direct messages. So if a student needs to contact a teacher, they may contact through this form. Now, some teachers may also be using Teams or OneNote, depending on the subject. So, you would go back to St. Mary's Broom page and go back to our community, Parents and Students, and you'd go to Microsoft 365. Now, they'd have to log in again, but this is where they'd have a range of all those apps, including Teams and OneNote if they needed to use them. If you have any further questions or you need any support, please don't hesitate to contact the school. Thanks for listening.